On your marks. Get set. <laughs> you have a good week. Good morning, we are off to another boot sale and this time I'm going to Matford in Exeter. Um, it's one of the few that's on at this time of year. So uh, we're gonna go there, see what we can find today. Um, it is a lovely, lovely day, lovely morning, blue skies, it's bloody cold. I've got my thermal underwear on, so we're all set to go. We'll see you there, join us, follow us round. If you see anything that I don't pick up, please let me know. Because I'm always learning. No one's perfect. See you there. How much are those, please? I've never seen that one. I have 40 quid, though, sorry. 40? Yeah. And they're both signed, yeah. Yeah, 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 that's a uh, nice watch, man. Oh, I'll just, just follow you, just somebody asked about it. Yeah. Right. So, how much is that, please? Uh, that one there, I was going to sell, uh, call it, five after the lot. Mm. Yeah? But deal two, just say deal two twice. Am I right, Dad? You've got this on, yeah? She just said, shut up. I'll ask. Right, that's the survival pack, 30 quid. My hands are fine, but I'm Three. Three pound on that. What about your gong? I want, I want ten for that one. Ten on that one. I'll see you later on, my love. Oi, my darling. I want fifteen for them. There's all sorts of nests with that. Okay, how much each? How much? Ah, 50p. 50p. 50p each, sweetheart. 50p, that can't be bad, can it? No, it can't be bad. Or oh, you can have the whole box for 20 quid. Oh, yeah, you'd do that to me, wouldn't you? <laughs> I would, would you, I want it gone. Would you do a tenner on the two there? Sorry? Would you do a tenner for both? Seven on that one and three on this. I don't know what he said on that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Great stuff, thank you. He's not here, I want it gone. <laughs> yeah, that's that's it, isn't it? Take the opportunity. Alright, nice one, thank you. Thank you very much. How much are your tops please? Five on that one. Oh five each on Would you go four each if I bought these two? No, just five each.
Yeah, my box is on there. Shove it in the box. Did you go far on that? Yeah. Thank you. How much is that one, please? Come to your lantern. Come to your lantern. Come to How much is that one? Five. Five. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. Oh, sorry, he's ten. Ten. Yeah. Did you do twenty the lot? Yep. Nice one. I don't know how many there is. Quite a few. Um, yeah, I tried to have a top up, but I kept losing count. That's so, right. I think there's about thirty or something there. That's right. Okay, mate. Thank, Thank you. you. At least you get some gone in one go, doesn't it? Well, I got rid of the t-shirts as well, so that's given me a lot of room. Yeah, it's always good to get yeah, rid exactly, of some yeah. stuff in one go, isn't it? Yeah. Thank you, appreciate it. Um, what bags have you got? A, something else? I might need another one. Oh, gone. <laughs> what, vlogger or something? YouTuber or something? Yeah, YouTube, yeah. What, local one or...? Uh, yeah, well, I live in Torquay. Torquay, yeah. yeah. What, what do you vlog about in that? Just yeah. buying at boot sales and stuff. Ah, uh, right, cool. So uh, that's, yeah. I'm always there every week. Oh, <laughs> uh, this one? Yeah. I collect the old comics and that, you know? Oh, comics, yeah. Sorry? Uh, cool, have a look, mate. I don't care, yeah, it's fine. No worries, have a look. Alright, cheers. Thanks. Yeah, I'm out of space. Cheers, I appreciate it. Alright mate, thank you. Do you want to leave until you come back? Or are you going uh, to no, I'll probably nip back to the car. Alright mate, no problem. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Nice one, thank you. How much is your teddy, please? Uh, Anybody else on a couple of those? Thank you. It's from Monday. Yeah. And you've had the pork. Have you had the chicken surprise? I'm not going to tell you about it. I'm not sure if you're grinder. Uh, Oh, we do the best mint in I'm used once. I need to sell it because I'm, I'm still in a coffee machine. I'm staying with the pod. Honestly, no, I bought it to grind and I made the coffee and don't taste me. So I just stay with the pod. I'm, it's brand new. I bought it 12 pods, used once. So I'm sold the machine already. That's why I'm just selling it. You don't get a coffee grinder on that 50 quid anywhere. Oh, you can't. No, you can't. <laughs> You take three on it. We take three for it. Me three fifty, and then we meet in the middle. Yeah, I'm kind of stuck on three, I think. Okay, okay. You sure? Yeah. Okay. okay. Thank you.
Well, I've been round once, I'm going to go round again. Well, I've been round more than once actually, but I just brought some stuff back to the car, I'll give it one more go, see if I can find anything else. You can take four on it. Do you know what size it is? Probably maybe ten meters. How much do you want more coming? Three pounds, do you think? What have you got on that one? Thirty. Thirty. Sorry. How much is that one, please? Three pounds. We'll make me an offer. Thank you. I almost kept those boots myself. Yeah, go do it. Yeah. <laughs> Take two on it. Is that one, please? John. 20. It's a, it's a, it's from a game, yeah. It's Far Cry 4. Have you got the original box for it? No, that's no. not made a box for it. Oh, okay. Did your Elvis? Ten love. Is there any break any cracks or breakages on it at all? As far as I'm aware, love, it's I yes. don't I, I, no, but it wasn't mine. Yeah, <laughs> fair enough. Your basket. You what, darling? Your basket. You pick Oh sorry, loving. Yeah. Five pound love. I'll take that one, please. Okay, lovey. Do you want to do the two at four each and no, take that one? No. no. Okay. They're not mine. No problems. Two, love. Oh, sorry, no, not on that one, love. No. Thanks, lovey. Thank you. Cheers. How much is that one, please? Two. I'll take that. Thank you. Well, that's it for today at Matford Car Boot Sale. Um, picked up a fair bit of stuff. An eclectic mix of junk today, definitely. Um, but uh, if you want to stay tuned, there's quite a bit of stuff that I didn't actually capture on camera. So if you want to see everything that I picked up and how much it might be worth, stay tuned. Welcome back. Right, I'm going to go through everything that I picked up at the boot sale today. It's all here. Um, it's just a bit easier to do it this way today. So let's start off with this. Um, I don't normally buy kids clothing, but come on, you have to admit that is very, very cool. I think uh, the lady said it was maybe for a 10 year old, but it's um, a vintage 1990 PG Tips Turtles top. And that is really nice. 
Uh, the only sad thing about it is that the tag has been cut out and that is a real shame. But I paid a fiver for it. Um, there is one sold, but it's a size medium. But uh, this being a kid's one, I'm going to try for about £30, £35 for that. It's going to look really cool on some kid, isn't it? Now then, um, this is quite a nice, sorry about the gong, um, Adidas Ladies Gilet, or Body Warmer, as us normal folks say. Um, it was £2, and it's in real nice condition. Um, I think I'm going to list it for about mm, 25 Now, I've got a couple of gongs. This little one was cute. This is, uh, it says good health on it and it's got this little gong. It doesn't really make a gongy sound, as you would imagine. Um, bit of a lame gong, to be honest. <laughs> it's not a gong, is it? What are you supposed to do with that? Um, it was, was it £2.50, I think? Gongs have always gone well for me. Um, I don't really know what I'm going to put on that. There's nothing to go off. I'm thinking maybe £20, £25 for that one. And talking of gongs, here's another one. This one's a bit bigger. Now, the condition of this is not quite as good as I was hoping when I got back. It's had its... Um, wires redone so there's strings on there instead there's a little bit of damage to the the beater but at least it actually sounds like a gong bit of damage to the bottom here bit of I might be able to clean that up a little bit a bit of paint on there so it's not amazing and I kind of paid too much for it paid seven pound for it oh, I don't know I think I did pay too much um, I'm going to try for maybe £25-£30 and just see what happens on that. Um, right, what else did I get? Okay, I paid £3 for this guy and he's from uh, Wonder Park, the film Wonder Park. Um, I've not seen one before, I don't think. I don't think I've ever bought one, so that's what made me think maybe £3 would be okay. Uh, but actually, this is not a great buy. It's probably only worth about a tenner. So it's right on the limit of what I will list things for in my eBay store. Uh, I don't really list anything less than 9 99 So I'll probably put that up at maybe 9 99 um, We'll see if we can get our money back on it. What else do we have? Okay, let's go to this. This souvenir totem pole from Canada. You can see there. Um, quite a nice thing, really, to be honest with you. There's quite a lot of solds, not of the, exactly the same one, but there's lots of totem poles sold. They are quite popular. This looks like it's like resin, maybe, rather than wood. It's got like a wood effect. Um, what did I pay for it? Three pound, I think I got it with the big gong. Um, I'm thinking about 25 for that. Now this was nice. I really like the look of this. This actually i didn't know what it was until i got home and it's actually a ceramic mug and you can see there it's actually got the straw hole there so it's from a hotel in vegas i think it's called the paris hotel i mean i know it's a big clue in that but i'm not sure if it's actually called the paris hotel but i'm guessing so but it's a really nice really nice item the only downside is there's a couple of dinks on there. There's a little dink here, a little one there, and there's a little dink here. Um, so it's going to affect the price. I still think I'm going to try and aim for about £30. I paid £4 on that one. Um, what about Elvis? Now... I always love picking up Elvis stuff, and this is nice. What a nice statue that is. It's a little bit, you know, like the other statue, but every week only it's a completely different colour. Uh, it's a Leonardo collection, The King from 2006. Uh, very, very nice. I paid a tenner for it. 
Uh, it needs a little wipe down, but other than that, I've studied it and I cannot find any uh, cracks or any damages, any chips. I can't find anything, so I'm hoping that's the case. £10 paid, I'm thinking um, I might actually list that for about £50, that one. But it's very nice. Uh, let's just put that one down. Okay. Now, these two things, not something I'd normally pick up, but they look quite nice. They're little whiskey sets. Um... I paid £5 for the two. I think one was £2 and one was £3. So if you have a look inside, it's got a, a nice whiskey glass with these stone things. I don't know what you're supposed to do with them. I'm not a whiskey drinker, so I don't know. Put them in the freezer and I don't know. I'll have to have a look. Premium whiskey stones. So it comes with those, the glass, the presentation box. Um, I don't know what that is. Oh, is it? It's a uh, it's a coaster, and then some tongs. Um, I think I'm going to list this for maybe twenty twenty five pound twenty to twenty five on that. Um, let's plonk that down. And this one, similar kind of thing. This time we've got two whiskey glasses. It's like cut glass type thing. And there's all the whiskey, the um, whiskey stones, the, yeah, whiskey stones. Yeah, what am I talking about, Chris? These these ones are sealed up. Um, stones and tongs. And again, 20 to 25 pound, I think, on, on that. Let me know what you think of those. If there's anything here that you do like, like in any of my videos, please feel free to make contact. You can find me on Instagram or Facebook. Um, and if you use carbootchris.com, the link that's below on the screen, um, there's all my socials, all my contacts on there. Everything, everything to do with me is on there. So feel free to go and have a look. I'll always try and do you a good deal compared to what something will sell for on eBay. Okay, this leaves us with this last big job lot that I picked up. There's 38 Marvel and some other figures um, here. 38 in total. I bought them all for £20. So that's about 50p an item. Now, what I'm going to do with these is a good old-fashioned bungle. Not the whole lot. I'm going to do mini bungles. So baby bungles for this. So I might do, say, one, two... Um, three there's a lot the same so i'm gonna to have to be careful you know i might do like four for 20 pound or four for 15 i've not checked any of the prices on these yet so i don't know actually what's worth what even there could be one or two here you know like these i don't know there could be one or two that are actually worth just selling on their own i don't know and um, there's some bigger ones here i don't know who he is i have no clue who that is um there's one here, is is that uh, Game of Thrones? Yep, yeah, there's a Game of Thrones one. See, it could be worth it on his own. Um, another Game of Thrones there. Oh, he's the same one, but this one's got the magazine with it. So possibly worth selling separate. Uh, there's a few different ones. So I'm looking for mini bungles and at 50p each. You know, if I put four in a bungle, not the same ones. So if we go one, two, three. If, let's say, for example, I put those four in a bungle. Um, that's cost me two pound. So there's got to be profit in that, hasn't there? You know, if I went 15, if I went 20, there's a bit of profit there. And then you multiply that over all these. And hey, presto, we'll make a bit of money. That's everything. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Don't forget to drop a comment. Let me know what you think about everything in the video today. Um, and give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, subscribe, see you later. Thanks very much for watching, really appreciate it. If you want to catch up on another one of my videos, you can try one like this or one like this. They're both good ones, uh, give it a go, or you can subscribe by pressing this button here. There you go, see you later.